Good morning, everybody. Wow, that was a great night's sleep last night. Whew, I don't know if it was the pizza or just having good company around the fire. I don't know, but uh, not as cold this morning as it was yesterday, which is great. It's still about the same amount of wind. It's persistent, man. This whole trip's been persistently windy. Uh, going 21 miles today into Route 653 Shelter. And I'm going to see some Seven Springs action. A little lake up on top of the mountain. It's going to be cool. I did check to see if the lodge was open for maybe a bite to eat up there, but they're closed for the season. Darn. <laughs> I was hoping. Uh, just looking at the forecast. we got a, a good day today. Well, good. It's <laughs> similar day as yesterday, about 45 and uh, blue skies and sunny, so it should warm up around 10 o'clock today. And then um, rain all day on the way out of here Saturday. Now, I was thinking, I don't know, I don't really need to do that day. I could just have my wife come down uh, either tonight or, I don't know, maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. But uh, we'll see how I feel. Um, it's really not the rain that's making me think about that. I was uh, doing calf stretches uh, a lot yesterday, calf and Achilles on my left foot. And I think I maybe overdid it because it's real tender around the, um, uh, like where the ankle uh, bone protrudes on the inside of your foot. Right underneath there, there's a ligament or something like that. And uh, it's pretty tender to the touch. So I'm being mindful of that today, walking carefully, and uh, I'm just not going to stretch that ankle today so see how I feel around seven springs uh, that'll be like I think the halfway point for me for the day maybe have some lunch up there and then uh, you know if it makes sense if I'm like just not feeling it or whatever um, maybe head home tonight I don't know we'll see how I feel though it's early things can change for sure but definitely don't want to injure it uh, we know two weeks <laughs> going out on the PCT and then doing this thing for five months, you know, whatever. So that's not what this shakedown's about. Anyway, we'll see where the day brings me. Windy day it is today. Very chilly. Uh, I haven't taken my hoodie off yet. Um, let's see. It is wow. It's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> I got 11 miles left uh, to Route 653 shelter. Uh, I did talk to my wife, and there's no reason for me to hike tomorrow. I'm good. Everything's working out perfect, and I do want to get some ice on this ankle. Uh, not bothering me while I'm walking, but the fact that it's tender uh, when I press on like that. Uh, ligament or whatever I don't know um, I, I just want to get some ice on it it's that's nothing to worry about I'm hiking normally can't even feel it unless I stretch into the calf uh, which is something I do you know a lot to keep my knees happy but uh, anyway like I said gear is working out great uh, so rather spend time with uh, another day with my family uh, than hiking the trail considering I'm gonna be hiking for the next five months in about two weeks here so it just makes more sense. Soto Amicus is very, very good in the wind. Way better than the BRS stove, so 
excited about that. I can't believe how much wind is up here. I'm even like ducking in behind this rock over here to kind of cut some of it out. I've got my pack over here and it's still blowing my pot around. I can't like, <laughs> I can't uh, get this ramen to heat up fast enough. Uh, just chilly, you know, just chilly. Uh, we're at the highest point on the Laurel Highlands hiking trail, Lake Tahoe, right here. And uh, we'll be heading back down uh, the rest of the way to 653, I think, pretty sure. Right, a little less than a mile now, about 3.30. I'm just gonna close the video out here. I'm not sure how busy the trailhead parking lot's gonna be on a Friday, but um, made a lot of minor tweaks on this trip and learned a couple different things, like you know where to put the backpack at the end of the night. Um, I feel very confident in my ability to through hike again, uh, with the exception of one possible gear change in my shoes, actually, it's funny. Um, I don't know if the TerraVenture 4 model uh, cushion is wearing out faster than the TerraVenture 3, or maybe it's just because, you know, I walked on rocks for the past three days. Uh, I'm not sure about it, um, but my feet 17 miles in today, uh, so just a little bit ago, started feeling a little bit like what I call hamburger, uh, where they're just sore on the bottoms, you know, when you walk, they're just, just a little discomfort. Um, not really painful, just a little discomfort. And uh, it reminds me a lot of my shoes that I started with on the AT, which were the Lone Peak 5s. And I just want to avoid any kind of episode where I'm going to be walking a few hundred miles before I figure out my shoes. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go up in cushion, which would be the Ultra Venture, I believe, by the same company, Topo Athletics and um you know try them for 400 miles on the pct if i don't like them i'll be home for my son's birthday in may and i'll switch back to the terra ventures uh, i actually have a couple terra ventures just waiting to be sent out to the pct somewhere so whenever i need them so uh yeah we'll see how it goes i still think these are a good shoe for backpacking um but i'm not sure if it was the rocks today and yesterday or if this new zip cushion or whatever they put in the shoe is treating me different than the TerraVenture threes, and I just I just don't have time uh, to figure it out. We're leaving less than two weeks now, so wow, <laughs> two weeks! <laughs> Holy cow! Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. This will probably be the last Laurel Highlands video I ever shoot. Um, I'll probably do it again, but it'll just be me and whoever wants to come with me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Find time and go on your own adventure. And I'll see you on the PCT, everybody.